Federalist paper is extremely important documents. You have three authors, John Jay, Alexander Hamilton, and James Madison. And basically what these uh, Federalist papers were, were 85 essays written to convince New York to ratify the Constitution. Remember, the Constitution is sent to the states, and not everyone agreed with this document. And there were many in New York who were very much against this new Constitution, taking powers away from the states and the people. And so these three, three gentlemen, what they did, and we are going to look at several of these uh, essays um, as we look throughout the rest of the course, we'll look to these. Um, these different documents. They are very specific about what the Founding Fathers' intent was on each one of the articles and each one of the sections of the Declaration. So any time there is um, not a clear understanding of how we want to interpret the Constitution, um, we look back at the Federalist Papers. I know during the time when Bill Clinton was being um, going through his impeachment process, um, a president can be impeached for high crimes and misdemeanors. But it doesn't really outline what that means. And so there's actually a Federalist Papers that talks about specifically how if a president is not doing their job or they're doing something wrong, there is a way to actually get rid of the president, unlike the king. And so um, as recently you know, as the 1990s, these documents are still relevant because they give us insight in what to the Founding Fathers really meant. The Constitution is only 8,000 words and that includes the Bill of Rights. And so it is not very big. It's not specific at all. It was written vague on purpose. It is left up to interpretation and obviously it has been, uh, the meaning of it has changed throughout time. So it is still used today to clarify the meaning of the Constitution.